Welcome to the channel, everybody. Happy, happy full moon and Sagittarius. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited because welcome to the full moon and Sagittarius this week. Welcome to Gemini season. We've got this quick air energy. We've got the fiery Sag full moon flower moon coming in for each and every one of us. So welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If it's your lifetime here of being with me for seven years, welcome. And if you are a new subscriber, which we've been getting quite a few new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you book your personalized reading with me. Go to the website at https double colon slash slash crisispsychic.com. So I've been here for a long time, seven years on YouTube, but I've been a medium psychic, a reader, an intuitive, um, natural healer, um, a lot of different titles combined with a lot of gifts and so much more. So what does all that mean? Well, that means that I'm available to serve you, to bring you insight, and also help elevate your personal lives, give and elevate your spiritual journey to give you some personal insights privately if you book with me. It will change your life. The sessions will. So, welcome. Now, we've got this uh, Gemini season. We have um, Sag Fiery Moon, and I've been gone for a little bit off of the channel, but you know you can always catch me privately. All right. So, with this Gemini um, quick air energy, as we been as we're in this season, along with being in Sag full moon, I'm gonna pull some cards, talk a little bit about this Sag keywords of this lunation, and you listen up, take take some notes, journal, um, <clears throat> get ready, and give you a couple of tidbits to do with this full moon. A uh, couple little short ritual and so much more. So I'm going to look at some self-help uh, sacred area for you uh, to see what it is that you should do with your sacred time. All right. So and spirit guys, what cards do they need to hear for their sacred self-care area? Self-care has a lot to do with um, our daily practice, our uh, daily encompassing to balance our lives while we're here in this earth realm, okay? Self-care is a sacred time. Uh, it's not always going to do certain things that, what you know, which we're, a lot of things that are told to go do a lot of other things. Those great things are great, but again, it's your personal um, sacred time that fits you. Okay, so it could be what it is that fits you and that you want to apply on a daily basis. So we've had one of the cards is about sacred self-care is write uh, a gratitude list. Write a gratitude list. Uh, the second one is look to the stars, but I have it in reverse. So I have look to the stars and that means that I'll talk a little bit about that, okay? And then we have um, journaling, journaling, okay? Now, looking at the journaling, I'm gonna go to the first part here. We got a couple of decks I'm gonna be pulling, so relax and, and take your notes, okay? So gratitude is an important aspect. So writing your gratitude, writing gratitude, getting a gratitude list, gives you self-care as a reminder in this realm, in the experience that you're having to reach to what are you grateful for coming into this full moon? What are you grateful for? What is your gratitude? Even though you may be going through some things, you're still alive, even though sometimes you may not want to be here in this room, I do talk to people that can't believe that at times that they are still here. Sometimes people are experiencing um, suicidal thoughts. They are experiencing um, what in the world am I here and I'm tired. 
Okay, and it doesn't matter what age you are. Sometimes that cloud comes across us and sometimes it's a way of giving you a reminder to recenter or to uh, get a gratitude list. Maybe contact me to understand why you feel that way or, or other therapists um, that can help you sort, okay, to figure out and to step your way out of maybe having that state of depression or low energy that is testing you to figure out, do you really know what your current purpose is, okay? So the writing a gratitude list is a very important aspect for this time with this full moon in Sagittarius. And I have this in reverse, which is look to the stars, you know. Now with looking to the stars here, it has a lot to do with the moon, okay? Looking up into the sky, seeing what's up there and how you play a part of the stars. You are made of stardust. You are made of the dirt. You're made of the earth. Being part of this moving terrestrial earth planet, which planet means, um, it means roamer, okay? So you're roaming and you're on this planet to roam. But what aspect of roaming? So look to the stars, look to the moon to get some answers for yourself, right? And then we've got journal, journal, okay? Journaling is matching with this writing of gratitude and looking to the stars and getting some answers from Mother Moon. So we have journal, okay? Journaling helps, is tremendous help to, to release your thoughts, okay? Even if they're all jumbled up, they're a, re they're a way of just dumping, 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 so that that way you can process. We have over 5,000 plus thoughts that come in a day. But when you're journaling or you're writing a gratitude and looking to the stars, it helps you to balance. I'm inching my nose because that'd be my guides, okay? So it helps you to really, especially if you have a lot of overthinking or maybe you are challenged with some... Um, maybe a challenge in your mind, some diagnosis or undiagnosis of why you think a whole lot. Sometimes it's just, that's how your car and your mind is made and it's okay, but you can bring it into balance with journaling, okay? All the time, all the time, not giving up on your journaling, you know, not, oh, well, this didn't work today, so I quit, you know, because it didn't happen as fast and I didn't get my mind to regulate itself. Sometimes you have to include some different herbal supplements to help to balance your mind out because your body could be over or undercompensated and may need some supplements. Or you may need to contact your doctor, your primary care doctor to get a, a, a full analysis and run blood work to see what may be going on within you. That doesn't make you have a problem or less than. It's just, it's the way your car is designed to work within this earth realm, okay? What I'm gonna do next, I do have quite a few cards, but I wanna talk about the full moon and in my diary, okay, what I got to talk about, what I wrote out. Um, now, okay, so the full moon of Sagittarius, I'm gonna go over four different things. Uh, the lunations, the key words and ideas for this full moon in Sagittarius is adventurous as always. You know, I'm Sag. <laughs> so that's that's one of my key points. You know, it doesn't mean by us being centurions and explaining as a Sagittarius, um, there is a, um, a energy of wanting to roam, you know. And so knowing that, a Sag energy, and as this full moon comes into, it may be an energy to feel like you need to roam, you need to get up and do something, you need to travel, you need to do something, you need to do something, okay? Now, in that, as the, the Sagittarius is a centurion, okay? Um, a centurion with mixed with a human and a horse, okay? So we have a half horse, has human, has half horse, has human, and a arrow, okay? So the arrow tells us with this full moon to set out 
to send some things out from you. Sending. And you may need to send a couple of them. Keep going. Sending, sending, shooting, shooting. And shooting those things into this full moon of Sagittarius. And the Sagittarius full moon has a lot of portal energy in it. To send things out for change in your life. That could be part of your venture. Sending those arrows out. One of the goddesses that sit over the Sagittarian is Diana. And Diana is a very powerful goddess. And she may come up in the cards as I pull to let us know that we can send things out. And even though we may not know how they may land or they may not take root, but if you send them out there into the air, you best believe there's going to be a return. But at the same time, be strategic. Don't just send out random stuff, even though you want to put it out there. But what does your real thoughts say to send out there? Okay, be strategic. Be in your thoughts. If you need to send a whole bunch, then do that. Write them out and just say, I'm like, boom, 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 boom. If you got three main things that you need to send out, then boom, boom, boom. Okay, send that. But be intentional. Okay, so that could be part of your adventure. Okay, your other adventurous parts could be simulation. Maybe you need to do some astral travel or sitting in a circle and protecting yourself in salt to astral travel with out of this realm and out into the atmosphere. We are in a big universe, a big solar system. Okay, so it was black holes, so many things. And so it can send yourself out to bring things into this room to help you and to connect. All right. Then we have daring. Okay. Now, daring is another key word. And then we have feels right and then dreaming. Um, the time that will come in will be May the 23rd, um, LA time at 6 um a.m., 6.53 a.m., and then we have Eastern Standard Time on the 23rd at 9.53 a.m. We have London Time coming in, May the 23rd at 2.53, and then Sydney Time. We have a lot of Australians, those that's on that side of the, of the world, at, um, at um, 11.53 p.m., okay? So, the Sagittarius energy that's coming back to that, recentering back to talking about the full, is a wonderful, um, mutable sign, very flexible and mutable. And remember that every single one of our 12 signs in our chart somewhere, you have Sagittarius energy in it. But and the Sagittarius energy is always looking for it. I'm looking at my diary. So that's where I'm getting from my notes. Have a forward and expect of expectation of good things. All right. Now, the full moon of Sagittarius comes around every year. So you can go back and look at what occurred last year around this season and the full moon. The cool thing is, is that we're not in eclipse season. We had a lot of big booms of eclipses a month ago. But keep in mind that eclipse seasons that did occur a month ago lasts for a good six to seven months. Okay, if not longer. Okay, so expect good things to come. Sagittarius is an optimistic energy, all right? And it's a wonderful time to get in agreement with yourself. Tap into the Sag energy to bring in a moment of deeply breath energy and to release it into the realm with shooting the arrows in the air. Right, um, Sagittarius energy reminds us that the world was meant to be explored, and we're meant to get out there and see this wonderful planet. And again, the planet is about roaming. Okay, planet means to roam. Okay, so as we've been out of the pandemic for a couple of years now, hopefully, as we've been here right now. Uh, you will see at this time that things are starting to come into a different energy. We, we came out of it, and so a lot of the planet is come back into a little bit of whatever this new norm, normalcy 
is for you. A lot of transition into this 2024 and Sagittarius energy is letting you know that there is a major transition. So what was during the pandemic has now been four years. So there's a lot of changes, even through the creative energy of um, social media, creative energy in your everyday job, career, getting you back on track of looking at your finances, how you're going to level things, not being too spontaneous unless you got a plan. Because during the pandemic and before that, if you were following me then, I was explaining a lot of things. But in this 2024 energy, it's about planning and getting specific, specific, I'm sorry, about what it is that you need to do. And one of the key areas is your money. Being very strategic and not lucid in it. So that, that way you're planning for the future. All right. Um, now, let's see here. Let me see what else I want to talk about. Okay. So one of the biggest challenges with this full moon and coming into Gemini is that you want to look at whether to accept or not accept the bigger picture of where you are in your life. It has a lot to do with your future. Letting go of disappointment in areas of, re of letting go of rejection um, and getting into more of protection for yourself. In other words, when things don't work out your way, we want them the way they, you want them to, being direct to something better for your soul's growth. It's all about your soul's growth, your physical growth here, and your financial growth, okay? Directing your finances, right? On the night of the full moon, release is into the divine energy, that yang energy. Anything that hasn't worked out, family, for you. Anything that hasn't worked out for you, anything you're still working on, and anything you might still fear, go on and work with it. Don't be afraid to accept it, okay? Also be a delegate over your time, all right? So um, I want to get into uh, a couple of things you want to look at and ask yourself about. A couple of questions. One of the things you want to ask yourself is, I must need to forgive. It's okay to write down your own name. So if there's some forgiveness, we're always in the process of forgiveness. You want to write those names out, including yourself, if you're part of that, to release forgiveness. All right. The second one is how will forgiving this person or persons, including yourself, change things for yourself? And number three, if I can forgive and move on and focus on the positive when it comes to this situation in the future, how will things change for me? Those are important questions, okay? Because forgiveness does bring about, um, and that's what's in my diary here, it does bring about major change. Forgiveness, when you tap it into, we're ending a cycle because we're now in a 27.5 cycle with the full moon coming into lunation. When you do that, you're closing up that area so that that way it's a new cycle that will bloom when we come back when we come into a new moon okay which that next new moon will be coming up in a few weeks all right so that's something that you want to work on you can also work with forgiveness and measuring yourself every single season not the year to see how you change all right now <clears throat> i'm going to tell you what house that the Sagittarius full moon is sitting in, all right? So you want to look at your rising sign and see which house it is evolved in, in your birth chart, okay? And that's your astrological chart. So um, Aries, ninth house, uh, Taurus, eighth house, Gemini, seventh house, Cancer, sixth house, Leo, fifth house, Virgo, fourth house, Libra, third house, Scorpio, second house, Sagittarius, first house, Capricorn, 12th house, Aquarius, 11th house, and, and Pisces, 10th house. Check 
your birth chart and look at your own rising sign. You can also use your ascending sign as well to see where Sagittarius is sitting in the percentages in your birth chart, okay? You can research your chart as well and get a free one online with um, astrocafe.com. It's free there, all right? So a couple of things I want to do. You can get outdoors with this full moon and take time with yourself. Um, get outdoors, get part of the lunation with filling the energy all over your body as a deep cleanse and a deep release. Okay? So it would be wonderful for you to do, all right, to feel the lunation of the Sagittarius energy. You can also use moon water, putting water in a jar for about 30 minutes, sitting it outside with a mason jar closing and bring it back in. You can drink that water or do whatever you like with it to keep it as a spray, whatever you're guided to do so, okay? What's something that I would suggest to you to connect with the with the um, full moon energy is up to you. It's not a wrong or right. But what I'll be doing, and I always suggest this with private clients that contact me and those that took classes with me, I like to use smoke. Okay, I'm not with this brand, but the cigar has a lot to do with exhaling and inhaling. You're not inhaling the cigar, okay? You're just pushing the smoke in, in your mouth and blowing into the atmosphere to connect, okay, with the energy. It's a Smoke is a long-term uh, usage in the spirituality, okay, to connect, to go into a, a pretty much like a, a quiet space in your space, like a shutdown, to connect. So you want to suck in that cigar air of the smoke because tobacco is very highly spiritual. Suck it in. You don't have to push it into your lungs and slowly blow it out into the universe to connect all right so that's a way you can finish your cigar and sit outdoors with that the next thing is incense i will be using sandalwood you can use whatever you like to burn while i'm outside you can actually add a bay leaf and burn a bay leaf and write down your intention on that while you're outdoors also it is up to you with that okay but you can do that all right now that's your small ritual. And you can do whatever you like. You can also do a bath, you know, with take the shower first and then doing a sea salt bath to help yourself to cleanse, right? So again, you can use a cigar and incense, right? So let me see what the moon has to say with us in the moonology, all right? Thank you, Spirit, guys. What do you have to say to us here on the channel? about you, Mother Moon. All right. Your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. So the moon is saying you need practicality. Your dreams need to be practical. Don't give up on your dreams. I already hear someone say, oh, I can't dream, you know, because I've had so much uh, negativity to happen in my life. You know, so much has happened to me. I can't dream. I don't want, what the moon is saying, you, you can dream. Your dreams will be practical though. You can still apply those, okay? You have to help yourself to dream. If you help yourself to excel out of what it is that you want to excel out of now to self-motivate yourself, okay? Now you want to bring love into the situation. Bringing love into the situation is what love may be to you, okay? Love can be, again, self-love first. Self-love should be first at all times. Lots of times people do not love themselves weren't taught to love themselves. Do some shadow work to get more in tune with yourself and love yourself. Not the exterior, not trying to fix everything cosmetically, but that's your choice on the outside. Nothing wrong with that. But fixing from within to be in love with you first. Nobody has to affirm you. You affirm who you are 
the soul from within, all right? And then we have here in reverse, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. I have that in reverse here, a personal situation um, reaches resolution. Now, being that this is in reverse, this is in process, okay? So you're working on this and you should see some resolution in the season of cancer, okay? When we move into cancer season, all right? You should feel those resolutions. Good. Okay, so let's see what the goddesses have to say. Thank you for sticking with me thus far, hanging this long for the video, but it's well worth it, right? Comment down below, it's well worth it. Thank you for being here. So I'm doing going to the goddesses, see what the goddesses have to say. But I also would suggest to you to, um, you know, you can do some work with Diana, invoke her energy as she's one of the head goddesses over the um, Sagittarius energy. What do you have to say to the to the channel and to, to you today through the goddesses? Now, keep in mind that Zeus is the head god, god over the planet of Jupiter, which Jupiter is the head planet of Sagittarius. Okay? So, Zeus is over there, so he's about expansion, but you also have to be mindful of overdoing or overdoing things, you know, because keep in mind, it will expand. It will expand. He loves to expand. That's why the Met Gala, if you notice, the Met Gala has a lot of Sagittarian energy in it, okay? So, thank you, Spirit Guy. What do you have to say? So we have Green Tara, and what she's saying is that start delegating, start delegating. Um, ask others, including me, with asking Green Tara to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Trying to be the, the great master of everything, you know. I'm going to go to a little bit of the meaning of that. And though the message from Green Tara is when you feel resentment in your heart because you're carrying more than your share of the load, you're doing no favors for anyone, including yourself. You need to ask for help <laughs> to ensure that you have private time um, for, con for contemplation and rest. One of the reasons why I'm able to sit so peacefully one of the reasons why I'm able to sit so peacefully, this is Green Tower, is that I know that the secret of true productivity, it doesn't come through struggle or strife. Rather, it comes from a clear and focused mind that's unchallenged but indecisiveness. You see, making, you see, making decisions in the shortest route to triumph passages. Once you make up your mind and rest, the rest follows quite naturally. I therefore urge you to sit quietly and follow the footsteps of your mind. Be open to your heart's um, mead enderings. They will quietly lead you to make your most important decisions and the rest will fall into place. All right? The rest will fall into place. And now we have Yemaya. We have Yemaya, golden opportunities. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. I'm going to go to her individual message here. Thank you, Yemaya. And I have Isis as well. All right. Like the ocean, like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. Timing is everything. So when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet, if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along. Just as the, rock, as the tides wash in and out continuously, like the ocean life is rich with variety and beauty. 
Enjoy experiencing its various rhythms and allow all your doubts to be washed away. I'm hearing a song, a song that I heard years, years ago. A favorite um, person in my life, she would sing this song and she would say, um, I'm not a great singer, so don't mark, ding me on that. But it's um, like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my soul. And that's a message from Yim and Yah. Like the dew in the morning, gently rest is upon my soul. Okay? So let the water of the dew of the morning rest upon your soul. Let it, the tide goes to wash in and out. As the moon, let the tide rises up. But in the morning, the dew rests on the grass. And it's a reminder that it's a new day. And the dew is a reference that you have gotten the tears of God. Thank you, Spirit guys, for that beautiful message. For those that needed to hear that. There is the residue of the tear of the universal God. The creator that created you. So it is and so it shall be. Now we have Isis. We have Isis, past life. This situation involves your past life memories. All right, so let's go to that. And then we're going to conclude here. All right, the message from Isis. Your roots upon the planet are strong and deep. And some of the roots you have anchored you in past memories from faraway times. This roots help anchor you so deeply, in fact, that you're paralyzed when it comes to moving forward. I've called your attention to this condition so that you may unearth and unroot past memories. Sometimes you bury those memories to shield yourself from psychic pain or embarrassment, or you won't remember those awkward moments when life tests you to the maximum. Reveal those lessons to yourself now, strong sorcerer and sorceress, and move forward with the confidence that you have saged wisdom behind you. All right? So it's a beautiful message. Beautiful message. So enjoy this full moon. You know, if I get a chance to maybe go live um, tomorrow, I'll see if I can do that. Let me know down in the comments if you will want something like that to talk a little bit to you about this Sagittarius moon. Um, I appreciate your time, the seven years together. Um, continue to uh, grow in yourself. Do the work with this full moon. Trust yourself. Contact me for your personalized uh, sessions, your readings and so much more, you can go to my website. I would love to hear from you, to help you, to assist you in everything that you do. And I love you very much. Continue to grow and go. See you later.